Hi, it's Crafty Girl Carrie here, and I am here to share with you the August 2018 Crafton Kimmy release. So first up, we have Spooky Silhouettes. Um, so we have this really cool, you know, bare spooky tree. The cat that has the Happy Halloween, a little cat, the owl, right? And then some ghosts, moon, the broom, witch's hat, some candy, and some leaves. As well as some sentiments, Happy Halloween, trick or treat, have a spooktacular day, hello beautiful, and booyah. Um, so what I did with this is uh, actually two cards. The first one is this. Um, I used the Craft and Kimmy inks. And um, I masked off the moon. And I used both the yummy yellow as well as the pumpkin. And then um, both of the purples and the meadow. I then used a um, cemetery border. Um, a, and a sparkly bat to kind of finish that off. Um, the owl is in the tree. And then this one uses two sets, actually. Um, you can see the tree and the kitty from the spooky silhouettes. And then it also uses out of this world. Um, so I'll move on to the out of this world. But I use the sentiment and the little monster from that set. And then um, this set is as adorable as well. So you have the three different monsters. You have your planet, some stars, and then you're my favorite earthling. Good luck on your new adventure. And there's no one on this planet quite like you. So here's the you're my favorite earthling card. And I use alcohol inks for the background. Um, and I just picked colors that would match my little monster and the planet. And what I did, if you can see that the planet, um, it stops right here. But I just took a Copic Multiliner and drew it down and then drew in some more craters. Because I wanted him to be on a taller planet or more of the planet showing. I then finished it off with sequins. These are the same sequins in the crafty Kimmy shop um, so if you like sequins like I do um, there's you can get beautiful I think there's eight colors in a set um, so that you have the you know a range of colors I also stamped the yummy yellow ink um, stars first I um, stamped and removed some of the alcohol ink and then stamped over it in the yummy yellow ink um, then we have grateful pumpkins um, and I love this because it's not just a Halloween set. Um, you can use this for fall um, or just adding, you know, a vine to a card or a pumpkin to a card, however you want. Um, so we have Grateful for You. I love Autumn. Gratitude turns what you have into enough pumpkin spice and everything nice. And it's fall, you all. Um, it also has extra leaves as well as the little squirrely and this little cute baby leaf. I just love that. And for this, I used um, both the regular pumpkin and this, I'll call it the scrolly pumpkin. So I masked off and stamped three of the pumpkins um, and made a little border out of it. And then I stamped the scrolly pumpkin in the center. Um, all of this is done in Craft and Kimmy Eek. This is the Marvelous Mocha that I rubbed across the acorn embossing folder. Um, this is the Pumpkin Patch Orange and then the, what's the green? The Meadow. Um, um, now I have to check. What is it? Yes, Mossy Meadow. Mossy Meadow. I was going to say Marvelous, but that's the Mocha. So Mossy Meadow for that. And I finished it off with a few leaves and I used the Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice for that set. Then we have the Spooky Suckers and these two little kids are adorable. Um, you have the little girl and the little boy. I want to suck your blood. Good evening and hope your Halloween doesn't suck. They just make me laugh. Um, so what I did, I used the little boy. 
um, and I used the um, Nouveau uh, black glitter and um, pulled that through a stencil. So the glitter or paste looks like this, glimmer paste, um, and this one is black diamond. Um, and then I just pulled it through the tree, the spooky tree stencil and let it dry. So it has a really beautiful, and I don't know if you can tell, kind of sparkly, spooky background. Um, and then I used the good evening and then um, this little silver, it's a bat button, um, just to give it, break it up a little bit. Um, and then I popped out at him on the front so that he would stand out a little bit from his spooky background. And finally, we have the haunted house. And I love this one. Um, well, I love them all, but I love the ones especially that you can mix and match together. So, right, you could stamp him, you could color up the house, you could put the little spooky suckers, you know, the little kids walking by on the street. You could use the silhouettes, you know, in the background. Um, but for this one, I created the background paper using the Craft & Kimmy reinkers um, on a gel plate and um, brayered them on and then pulled the print up. Um, and so I used that kind of for my spooky scene in the back. Um, and then I colored um, the haunted house. And then I just, you know, added a little bit of embellishments. I didn't want to cover the paper. I really liked that kind of spooky scene in the back. So that is this month's release. Um, I love them all. I, don't, I could not just choose one. So thanks for dropping in. Bye.